meet every data integration need. So Power Center has got you know uh, the tool or the Power Center tool is available in different versions, uh, different editions basically, the standard edition, the real time edition, advanced edition, and the cloud edition. Apart from the cloud edition, the three different versions are restricted by the license. So you'll have to install once and then based on the licensing feature, you can use the standard features, you can use the real time features, you can use the advanced feature. High availability, uh, high, high availability feature is a part of the real time edition and uh, session on grid and the server on grid option is a part of the advanced edition. The standard edition is having only the single node domain. The, for the power center cloud, for the power center cloud, Informatica is providing a secure agent which you need to install in your particular machine and then you can connect to Informatica cloud and you can start your activity uh, like designing your uh, um, ETL solutions in the cloud itself. So you don't, you'll not need you'll not need a repository to store that uh, repository objects. Only just need to install the Power Center uh, security uh, secure agent, Power Center secure agent in your machine, and you need to uh, connect to the Power Center uh, cloud using the credentials. Just for a particular demonstration purpose, let me show you. So when you when you install secure agent, this particular uh, you know window will come, which will actually try you need to register with the informatica cloud and after register this particular window will come and it will say that you know it has option for restart stop and providing the proxy and if it is running properly you will get this message secure agent is up and running then you need to go need to go to a particular website where where you can uh, once you log in you will be given a particular interface where you can develop your mapping right so uh, there are the design option if you go to the mapping Right. Then you have the option for creating new mapping. Here, actually, you'll have to create a mapping. So the name and this thing we have already created a mapping, whereby we are trying to download the data from Salesforce. We have created an account in the Salesforce, and we are trying to download the data from the Salesforce, Salesforce, and moving it to a targeted system. You can configure different options over here. You can configure different connections, the source connection, and the different target connections, and you can configure schedules, maplets, everything. Now, whatever you have been doing, with some restrictions, whatever you have been doing in the power center, with some restrictions, most of them you can do over here as well. Right? So uh, this this is your source where actually the, this is basically a Salesforce connection. You go to the source option, you will see that uh, okay. this is basically a source so Salesforce connection whereby you know you will be able to see that what other URL that you are going to use over here and test it. You can see oh, they succeeded. Okay. That's similar. You can, can execute the mapping as well, and you can see that the data has been loaded. Apart, this is basically most the simplest form of it. However, you can create uh, the mapping as per your own requirement. And then Informatica is also providing you the option for uh, you know importing that bundles or that uh, basically templates, or you can say the accelerators that Informatica has provided in order to. Accelerate your uh, you know ETL job preparation, right? You can use click on the business, business published bundles where Informatica can show you these are the different options accelerators that Informatica has already provided for you to you can accommodate them in your uh, in your cloud and you can start creating your job from there. Right? So these are some basic certain basic templates that Informatica has provided you to uh, make your ETL uh, job and cloud on a first, right? And then I will move to the reason five. Collaboration between global IT teams. What are the different features? Flexible metadata driven architecture that standardize reusability across different levels. A sort of set of robust visual tools to manage development administration, powerful productivity tools, metadata management, and data lineage. Well, then uh, we have got Power Center is the only tool, Informatica Power Center is the tool which has got the versioning feature inbuilt within the tool. So if you have versioning option available, right, if you look at that in our repository service and at the repository property, if you see the version control equal to true, this is again a license feature. If you have got team-based development, if you got team-based development uh, present in your license, you'll be able to create a version control repository. And if you have version control repository, you can you know, um, check in, check out, and view history of different objects from there itself. You do not need external uh, version control tool to uh, use the versioning feature 
of the different objects or the repository objects for it for Medica. And then we have got, you know, that uh, metadata management, we can configure the metadata management service and from there we can check out the data lineage option. Uh, data lineage option, we have got the screenshots available for data lineage. These are the steps to create your grid and assign entity as a service for a particular grid. You can just move to that data lineage option. So if you configure your metadata management service, you'll be able to see certain catalogs that are coming, right, based on the power center uh, objects or based on the different uh, data with databases that have been configured over there. If you click on a particular attribute and click on run lineage, it will give you the direction, the starting of or the source of your particular uh, particular object from where that particular attribute is originating and then the different mapping that has it has passed through, mappings and the sessions and then a target. And then from where this particular target has been used as a particular source and then from what are the different mappings has gone through and at the end where actually this ending, right? So the same, the full flow you will be able to see using your data lineage, uh, using your metadata manager to configure the data lineage, right? Now, uh, here we are trying to look at uh, the first name, where from it has originated, uh, I mean, where actually it is going, basically. The first thing is that we are seeing that first name is originating from a particular source, customer the CSV, then it has passed through in customer FF, and then session customer FF, then it has moved to the customer target table, right? And from there, again, the customer target table has been used as a particular source, and then it has passed through these particular mappings, in customer FF, then M test composite connection, and then it has moved to the FF customer dot out this particular target, right? And then you know these are the uh, these are the different targets. Those are actually those are actually uh, I mean part of that uh, the, uh, the certain mappings where first name was present. Now we can enlarge it. We can uh, click on the first name, and we can see that what are the different expression, what are the different transformations that actually have been used in order to transform that column first name or the attribute first name, right? So these are the different uh, transformations that have been used uh, in order to transform the first name. And if we click on uh, the next attribute, the full name, we'll see that full name is basically a part of your first name, last name, first name has been used as a single attribute as well as in the target as a single attribute as well as it is a part of the full name. So entire data lineage starting from your source to the target, you'll be able to see you have the metadata manager uh, services installed and configured. Team-based controlled capabilities, as you said, inbuilt version control, no need for external version control tool, check-in, check-out, and version history, control deployment, actual environment, locations, themes to accelerate development using deployment group. Inbuilt workflow scheduler to fulfill your scheduling needs. So if you go to the workflow properties, you can edit, and then the option for scheduler. You can create custom schedule based on your read and you can associate that particular schedule with the workflow. And then this particular workflow will be executed based on the schedule. Reusability features, uh, you, can, you can use the reusability feature of our center in different way. You can create reusable transformation, applet, worklet, reusable sessions and tasks, parameters and variables, shared folder, and global repository. Using all these objects, creating all these objects, you can leverage the reusability feature of your uh, of power center. You can create a reusable transformation. You can create, you can uh, use it at different mappings uh, where actually the same uh, set of uh, function is being used. Similarly, the uh, for the maplet, you can uh, create a maplet to perform certain action, which is actually will be needed in different the mappings. You can use the map maplet over there. Similarly, for the worklet, you can even create a reusable session and task and use it in the separate uh, places where actually you need it. Similarly, you can leverage uh, the parameters and variables, um, and then shared folder and global repository feature. Recovery, recovery is basically considered action of returning the application data and database to a normal and consistent state. So uh, due to certain issues, if your uh, job has failed at a certain point of time, if you have recovery feature enabled, if you have recovery feature enabled, you can recover the job at the failure point itself. You don't have to do or perform any manual recovery. Right now, where from you can configure it? You'll have to again go to the workflow properties. Let me show you one thing. You have to go to your workflow properties and then you 
edit and then the properties will have options for enable HA recovery. Enable HA recovery. If you click on that, if you execute the particular session, if you execute the particular session, Informatica will store certain information at this particular place. Okay. So th 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 this is a place where actually Informatica stores certain information in order to recover, in order to recover your job. Right? Now whenever you are uh, you are having the problem with the job and the job has failed, right? You can just right click on it and just right click on it and uh, which is failed. You can just right click on it and you can see the recover task. So these actually will instruct integration service to read the data, to read the data from here for which the job has failed and recover it from the point of the failure. Right? So uh, these option, the enable HA recovery, this is not a part of a licensing, this is not a part of a licensing, but that automatically recover terminate tasks, this is a part of the HA license. If you do not have HA license, this will be visible. Our enable HA recovery is part of a standard license. Uh, if your job has failed, you know, uh, if you have HA license, it will be recovered automatically. However, if you do not have HA license, if you just, uh, just have to click, uh, you know, right click on it and click on recover task, that job will be recovered from the checkpoint from where it has failed. Okay, so recovering power center, data recovery, making inconsistent data consistent, continuous, continuing workflows and tasks after every, after they have been interrupted, and the domain infrastructure must be available in order to recover the data. Unless and until your domain infrastructure is available, not be able to recover it. Because you you need, you'll need your in, uh, info, integration service and the repo service to, uh, to, be, uh, to be available and to be executing in order to recover, start recovery. So these are that, you know, how can we enable uh, the HA recovery. To recover a workflow, integration service should be available, should be able to access the workflow state of operation. So this is the place, guys, where Informatica is storing the state of the operation of the workflow, like different information of the workflow and different information of the, the sessions. All of them have been stored, stored over here. And once you are clicking on recovery, or once you are you know, asking for recovery, it will read the workflow state of operation from here, and it will start recovering from that point of, uh, that, 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 point of uh, that point of time, basically, from where it has failed. So recovery strategy, apply sessions and command task, fail task, and continue workflow, restart task, resume, from last eight points. So these are the uh, different session and task recovery uh, strategy that you can use. If you do not have HA license, you have to do it uh, uh, by hand through mouse and keypad, just the way I did. And then Informatica Cloud Edition, whatever you have just seen, that it has got the components, cloud application, uh, basically the URL where actually you are creating your mapping task and everything. Cloud hosting facility, this is internal to Informatica. A place where actually Informatica is hosting the, all the cloud uh, components. Cloud services, services you can use to perform tasks such as data synchronization, this is also internal to Informatica, where it is hosted uh, Informatica Cloud, and the secure agent. Secure agent is something that you need to download. Currently Informatica is providing a 30 day trial period for secure agent, you can download it and you can try to start your Informatica Cloud, uh, you know, uh, and start creating a mapping in Informatica Cloud. Okay, so that, that's all about you know the different uh, reasons uh, or the features basically uh, which are associated with Power Center. Uh, some of them are licensed and some of them are coming uh, as, as a part of a standard license. You can use them in your uh, existing ETL job. Right? So th these are the different features of Informatica which will help you out to uh, build a solid and a robust data integration which should be uh, which is high available, which is uh, highly scalable, and which is having your uh, uh, team-based collaboration, the global global uh, cl global collaboration among the different teams. Right? This, this will help you. These are the different features that you can use.